Wait, let's start this up. Let's start the blessing three, the moondrop blessing three. Um, look how calm and collected that waifu is. Unlike the ones Kotaku is talking about. What the hell's wrong with that fucking place? That's so weird. Anyway, um, blessing on this beautiful world. The threes. So, I don't actually have the blessing twos, I don't think. Do I have the blessing twos or did I sell them? Because they weren't my style. They weren't my, my jam. And the blessing threes are a wholly different creature from what I think I remember the Blessing 2 sounding like. They actually have the Hoodas. They have the Hoodas. Hold on, Aqua, I'll come back to you. H Hoodas. H-O-D-D-D-U-S. They literally don't. Don't. Because it stands for Horizontally Opposed Dual Dynamic Driver Unit System. Call it something else. That's dumb as fuck. Anyway... What this does is it takes two 10 millimeter drivers, and instead of having a 10 millimeter driver, it takes two 10 millimeter drivers, makes a 10 millimeter driver burger, and then the air gets squeezed out the side of a thing, and it makes the makes the go go. And on top of that, let's add four balanced armatures. So it's a dual dynamic four BA, three hundred and twenty dollars. And the first thing I notice is it doesn't have a ton of soundstage which is usually a bad thing with the IMs. But then I realized what they were doing. If you're not gonna give it like this wide, super wide presentation, and then they're doing that shit with the drivers, they're trying to get the sound to happen as close to you as physically possible. Oh my God, I just hit the camera. And in doing so, you get all the detail. But when the bass happens, it isn't happening somewhere else. That was a horn that actually scared me, I'm sorry. Um, though It isn't happening somewhere else, it's happening here. It's happening right here. And I've been listening through all the different amplification on the desk, the, the Rebel Amp, the Drop, uh, AAA-1, X2O, TA-22. And I finally got on the LA-90 Discrete, although I'm gonna swap this back out for a regular LA-90, and I got it on the Digest Shelly Labs original Erish. I swapped through all different tips. Um, quick waifu packaging, love it. Comes a little little post-it card. Love it. The box. It says Moondrop. It's like perforated little little silver dots all over the box. And then when you go to open it up, watch this. Ready? Ready for some shit? The box is structurally designed to just like present itself like a jewelry box. And then you have this section in the middle, in the top you come out, and you pull out of this. And what happens when you pull this out? You got another piece of cardboard that delivers you paperwork. Someone was overthinking the packing of this a lot. Anyway, and you get the uh, the same pattern on the book. And let's get the, the box out real quick because we're just going to go over this shit. Nothing else in here? We don't need the book. We're not reading anything. This is my biggest disappointment. It only comes with one type of tip and a million of them. It's got like every size standard silicone tip. Airplane adapter, nice case, big zipper, single zipper, padded on top. Can't quite read the word noon drop, but different at least. Um, I just realized I'm not listening to you because I'm blasting. Die Zaber fought the magic flute from various artists. 50, hits of, 50 greatest hits of opera. Yeah, no, it feels like a normal I am. I'm going to get to how they look. I'm going to talk about how I'm not using the wire because I want to try balance. It feels like a regular I am, but then instead of just bringing everything closer, bring everything closer and make it better. It's just Moondrop, man. This is going to be an easy review from the moment I took it off the desk. I'm like, oh, Moondrop made a $300 I am. Gee, I wonder if it'll suck. Odds of that? Very, very small. All right, ignoring the box, ignoring the waifu, which is tough to do. The cable is a little lackluster for a $300 IM, I gotta say. As someone who has done collabs and IMs, this is a kind of rough aluminum tube here with a serial number on it, 3.5 millimeter only, to a standard two-wire twist to, like, standard single wires. 
And it's like, this is a $300 IM. I, this might be one of those placement cables. I know you're a psychopath that's going to buy this and put a $200, $300 cable on it. I'm putting the $50 Chimera cable on it just because I want balanced. So, I mean, it'll get you by, but I don't think you're going to stick with it. Um, I'm going to take them out of my ears right now. I tried to use... They're so... Pr fuck. They had... They're so pretty and so shiny and so see-through. And you could see the whole dynamic module here with the blue plastic. That this whole thing was wrapped in protective... I don't know. I put it somewhere. The, the protective plastic that you get off a shiny TV that you peel off. It was wrapped around the whole thing. And for the entire time I had them burning in and then brought them to the desk and then put the tips on it, I had that plastic on it. Because they're just so fucking shiny. Stainless steel back plate. And that's the only bit that's stainless steel. And it's just a cover. Because everything else is see-through acrylic. Like really see-through. Like hyper see-through acrylic. You could see all the internal components of this. Which is kind of cool. Um, tube sticks out plenty far. You got plenty of distance between the wire and the tip. Um, you could see what chips I'm using. These are the Dunu s s Or whatever the hell those are. I actually... I recommend them. I'll link them in the description. However, the extra large tips, which I need, the the these size, I forget what size these are, big, for need for my right ear, aren't in that pack. So I don't know if they're going to sell them separately yet, but uh, they came with the Dunu SA6 Mark II. Um, and that's what I'm using. Because I went through the Rinko tips, the render tips, and the render tips made it a little bit too oppressively bassy. So skip the rendered tips for now. Then I went to Dakoni tips and it was better. And I'm like, ooh, Dakoni. Like Dakoni, like the way it's starting to sound. But considering the unit came with entirely silicone, let's try silicone. Now I've got my little selection here. I can do uh, fit tops and all the other uh, ones. I got the X-Elastics. But these square bodied Dunu ones are just like my go-to right now. They're my goat. These are my goat. But that said, um, foam tips probably not the greatest thing to put on this, so we're gonna keep it silicone. I'm putting back my ears now. They're so fucking pretty. Um, it's one of the things also with the Chimera cable is it, it's a flat pin and not it doesn't insert in, so this is actually relatively flush, so it will work on this. Some IMs the Chimera cable just won't work. Oh god, I dropped it. I didn't say that it was this one. This is one is fine, although I will say. This Chimera cable has been plugged into like 70 different IMs, so it's a little bit slutty. Let's put them back in my ear holes. So, perfect fit. Let's get off of this. Let's go to something with a little bit of... Jesus, that was set so loud. That was loud Michael Jackson immediately. No one needs that in their life. So, here's the thing about dual dynamics. This has bass. It has solid bass. But it isn't just bass. They've, you would think when you're you're literally fucking two 10 millimeter dynamics, which most IMs are a single 10 millimeter only, this has a 10 and another 10 and four BAs. You're just like, please God, don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. And it doesn't kill you. And in fact, it's really well balanced. Like the low end comes in. I'm gonna talk about low end for a second. So I'm gonna try to get to a low end song. Nothing. Of co oh. Cliff Martinez does a soundtrack for like Only God Forgives. And that's. Yeah, okay. I'll say this. I don't think it's to make more bass, it's to make the air move faster. Because when you move a driver, it's like, I want you to move, and the air has to move as fast as that. When you move two drivers, the air coming out between the two is going twice as fast fast so if you go half as fast in other words they're basically moving the driver half as far and getting the same amount of air movement you would get at a normal 10 millimeter which means they can move it faster it's the reason that a speaker with a small driver is different than a speaker with like a 12 inch 16 inch driver because that takes a long time to move and that can move quickly so if you have two big ones and you just move them like this much and then pipe it through a fucking hole you can move it faster this is a more responsive bass experience. And then you got the four balanced armatures, which basically anything Moondrop does with balanced armatures is like, oh, it'll be perfect. The treble is just enough. There's like tinging. And as far as not having like wide soundstage, there's not none. 
I'm just getting used to a lot of the most recent IMs I've done having like gobs of it. This is a very you're in the music I am. You're in it. You're 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 in it. Like aqua puking in an alley. You're in that shit. So the doors, my eyes have seen you from the strange days, perception remaster. Left channel stuff's happening and it's trying to echo into the right, but it's not going far. It's just everything's happening in the left, right, right. My eyes have seen him. So I would almost, these almost feel like one of those IEMs that's designed for mixing and mastering. Like, it's not an insult. It's kind of a praise because to get a mastering level IM that's like fast and accurate and doesn't exaggerate things. This doesn't exaggerate things. Usually when you think of a flavor of an IM, I want a bassy IM. It means the bass is exaggerated. Rinko is like that. I want a I want a treble murder IM. I want to hear all the details. Fuck everything but detail. Exaggerate that. I want to hear nothing but vocals. Forget bass, forget treble, mid-range. Exaggerate that. This doesn't exaggerate anything. I'm, I'm, I'm going through track after track, and everything sounds normal. And don't take that badly either. Normal's fine. It actually was picking up a little bit of flavor as I was going through amps, but not as much as you would think. It's actually warmer on the solid state than the tube hybrid. And then I come over here to the wall of Topaz. And the treble falls away just a little bit. It's just the gentlest little changes of things happening as I bounce between amps. Great detail on the AAA one. Much more focal vo forward vocals on the Rebel Amp. Just enough to say, like, oh, that's... I actually don't think I like these on the Rebel Amp. Like, it turns the mid-range up a little bit too high. Am I liking them the most on this? Yeah, I think they like a linear amp. It's weird as that is, because usually a linear... If I'm talking about, like, mastering I am, you want to give it some funk... But not this. You want to just apply this to the cleanest amplifier you have. I actually had it running on this for a bit. And there's a not safe work figure on the uh, sticker on that side, so I won't show it for very long. This is my future collaboration Death on Ray uh, Pegasus SG-1. And it's got that firmware on it that makes everything creamy. And this is the best it sounded. It's either very linear or funkin' weird. Like, whatever the hell the Death on Ray is doing. Like, I don't know if I would Death on Ray the Rinkos. That would be weird on top of weird. That's too far. But these, on this, adding that little bit of funk works. But for some reason, like, a tube hybrid doesn't work. And this is fine, but it's just a, a moderate change. That's doing an extreme change. I'm trying to think what else I could plug into that has an extreme change of, of character. Maybe like the heavy RS2 with the slider that makes things like mm. If you don't know, go watch my review of that on the main channel. So yeah, I'm going to give these a recommendation. If they're for sale, check the link because right now they're pre-order. I've obviously got them first to get this review done. It should be up early May. I'm recording this late April. If they're out, they're a buy. If you want soundstage, like gobs of soundstage, these are not your I am. If you want sound presence, like it's here and you better fucking accept it being here, these are your I am's. It's almost like they're very, very delicate on every frequency range and also insanely capable. It's like driving around an all-wheel drive Tesla plaid with race tires in a shopping mall parking lot. Like you just, you could just putter around with all-wheel drive. But every once in a while, if it needs to be in that spot, it's just, it's just there, fucking there, and then it stops. 
it's this weird like duality of subtle delicate extremely powerful Vo female vocals like male voc vocals in general a little bit amp dependent but i don't hear the i don't hear where the dynamics end and the balance armatures begin that's another thing i feel like they probably made one giant crossover point and they just blended that together perfectly like this song doesn't have a lot of bass and i can't even tell that there's dual dynamics in this it's just and then there's that there's like some sub bass in there that just wrinkles in the background this is john wick 2 Plastic Heart. You know, now I gotta go watch fucking John Wick 4. I haven't seen 4 yet. These are a very, very, very enjoyable I am. Especially if you're someone who's craving a neutral sound and a close sound. You just want to fucking be force-fed the music, but you don't want to die. This is perfect. And they're not hard to drive either. I think they're like 12 ohms. All right. Back to this for a split second, then we're ending this. Yeah, definitely mid-range up and a little bit warmer in the tone. And then you got out of this. So, Moondrop never fucking around, except for that one time they posted that Instagram post of the girl covered in yogurt. Yeah, no. So that from the Kotaku thing also. Um... Which they should have just run with it. Don't don't back down now, man. Don't back down now. I'm your guy. Moondrop, collab with me. We'll we'll do some dirty, dirty things together. I'll allow it. Um, these linked in the description. Patreon subscribe star support this channel. Also check out the sponsor links down in the description. Please click those. If you click those, people will sponsor. If people sponsor, people will pay me to live. That's what I need. Just people clicking things so I could pay to live. Aqua's in the wallpaper hoard, by the way. That's almost a not safe for work wallpaper. Do you know that Aqua does not wear underwear so that no one can look up her skirt and look at her underwear? She dumb as hell. Um, but yeah, no, link to this, link to the Chimera cable, which is definitely an upgrade from the stock cable. I don't think I need to prove myself. That's just, here's this, or here's this. Get any cable you like, you're probably gonna want a different one but yeah cool thank you hi if i go for sending this out um they went real delicate on the box art it's not even girls making out i don't know i don't know what kind of level is this it's like it's like c tier but she's got really nice big 80s hair anyway i'm done you're done we're done this video is already 17 and a half minutes long i gotta go bye thank you for subscribing subscribe to this channel Fifty thousand. we got a pizza party here